Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix low FPS and lagging when you're playing Rust. Rust and is a good game, but you know, with low FPS is very annoying. So it's a really painful experience. So I'm gonna try my best to help you. So let's jump right into the video. And make sure you try, you apply, you follow along with me till the very end, till the end of this video and you apply everything I'm going to tell you. Uh, so, I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying that will really help, um, will increase FPS. Now, I can't guarantee you, but, you know, it's pretty good. Now, the first method and the most obvious one that we sometimes avoided where, where we're just... Um, saying to ourselves that is not important but it is which is make please make sure you close all the apps are running in the background let's say i have this um, transparent background uh, tracks bar just close it close all the apps that you don't need when you play the game it's very important and if you don't need discord while you play the game make sure you close discord as well find a way all the way, other way to communicate with your team because discord consumes a lot of power a lot of uh, usage, I don't know what's the right word, but it's just not good for your computer, okay, Discord. I mean, if you have a $3 million computer, then you can use Discord, obviously, but depends a lot on your specs, but yeah, that's what I do as well, because my specs are just decent, not very well, not, uh, sure, not the best ones, but yeah. So, the next uh, thing that I, I did when I bought this laptop to increase FPS is to head over to Performance, Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. And here, if I use Adjust for Best Appearance, I'm going to tell you, yes, it will look better, but it's just very laggy. It's, it is. Especially when I'm playing like demanding games like Battlefield, maybe, or other games. But... As I said, make sure you click on adjust for best performance instead of for best appearance. Okay, no, no best appearance, best performance. Okay, thank you very much. And here, if you use the best performance, you can also enable show timeliness instead of icons and smooth. And this is up to you, but I recommend or I think it's showing a thumbless is pretty useful and also smooth edges because otherwise it looks kind of ugly now the next method let's go here right in the search bar temporary files and then click on temporary files and here wait for the scanning uh, process to complete and then what you have to do is to click on is to in check downloads as well if you don't have anything important in your downloads folder because everything in a folder will get deleted. So yeah, make sure you check that before um, you check, before you delete everything. And now let's click on remove files, okay? And we save 1.353 giga, uh, sorry, gigabyte, yeah, gigabyte. So now the next method, press on your keyboards, uh, press on your keyboard, c control shift and ask, and then uh, then here go to where is it processes and here click on the game and then once you clicked on the game expand and then go to go to details and then right click on the game and set priority to high so what that means is that windows will prioritize the game instead of other apps or processes that are running in the background so that's very important click on high here now the next method here in game mode game mode make sure you turn this off or turn it on uh, but i recommend turn this off gaming captures that's not gaming mode turn this off uh, it's not very optimized and will really not improve your gaming performance. At least that's what I've tried myself. Now go to graphics and here in graphics, click on the game, on the Rust game. If you don't have it li here listed here, uh, click on browse and add the game from here. And then once you've added the game here, click on the game, click on options and make sure you here select high performance. Now if you have a GeForce, Click on GeForce Experience and here 
make sure you click on drivers and make sure you update the latest driver as you can see there is a valuable driver here so i have to just click on download and also click on the game and then here in the game click on optimize and then click on this custom and here use performance because it's set on default on optimal so yeah we want performance we don't care about quality and that's pretty much it that's what i have done myself to increase fps i hope this video helped you and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials i really appreciate it. thank you for watching and take care